guys, for today's video, we will be visualizing volume of solid figures, which is cube and rectangular prism. So, this is Mom Nini, and let's start. So, for today's video, you will learn about definition of terms and about visualizing volume of cube and rectangular prism. We have here two set of figures. So we have set A and set B. So what is the difference between the two sets of figures below? So for set A, obviously they are two dimension or two dimensional figures or fi uh, plane figures. And for set B, they are 3D or solid figures. So for two dimensional figures, they these are figures with length and width only. And for three-dimensional figures, these are the figures with length, width, and height. Okay, let's define first the following term, which is volume. So, volume, it is the amount of space occupied by any three-dimensional figure. It considers the amount or the number of unit cubes it takes to fill a solid figure. So now let's have cube. So volume can be visualized for three-dimensional figures only. So cube, it is a three-dimensional solid object bounded by six square faces, facets or sides with three meeting at each vertex. So we have here a cube with a length, width, and height. So we also have the faces of a cube. So we have here six faces. And then we have here vertices or vertex with have with has three meetings. Okay, now for us to visualize what is volume, so we have here an example of cube which is a Rubik's cube. So we have the height, length, and width. So for height, we have three cubic units. For the length, we have also three, and for the width, we have three. So, we're going to multiply it 3 times 3 times 3. So, we have 27 cubic units. So, now for better visualizations, we also have here a cube that shows how many cubes are there or cubic units. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if we count it all, so we have 4 height, 4 length, and 4 width. So, 4 times 4 is 16 times 4. So, we have 64 cubic units. Next is we have prism or rectangular prism. So, a prism has two congruent parallel bases and some number of sides. A rectangular prism is one common example of prism. So, here is a rectangular prism with a length, width, and height. So, now we have here a figure, three-dimensional figure of rectangular prism that shows the cubic units that you can see in this figure. So, we have here the height. So, we have two. Then, here we have three. And then, for the last one, we have four. So, we have two times three times four. So, we have 24 cubic units. So, in this figure, we also have here a rectangular prism which has cubic units shown. So, if we count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, then in, in the under part is as also 4. So, we have here 8 cubic units. So, that's all guys. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.